Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressa channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about Monique's Periscope session she did today with her husband. And she went into detail about the phone call she had with Tyler Perry. Now Tyler Perry called her up after her rant against Oprah, Tyler, and Lee Daniels during her stand-up comedy. We got a call from Mr. Tyler Perry. He reached out and he didn't have to. And the first thing he says is, Oh my God, I watched the podcast and I saw so much pain. I saw so much hurt. And I said, brother, before we start playing this game, what you saw is honesty. What you're seeing is somebody and you're seeing folks saying, we're not willing to lie. You're seeing honesty. So let's get past all this pain and hurt that you think you're seeing. Then he says, and I'm going to tell you right now from the bottom of my heart, I would never want to do anything to hurt you. I would never want to see anything wrong. I think you are brilliantly talented. And to see this thing going on, I just want to know what can we do to stop it. We share with him what you could do to stop it is tell the truth about the situation. Now, the truth about the situation is this. Monique worked on a movie called Almost Christmas with a very popular director named David Talbert. And Tyler Perry was actually having a conversation with David and he said that working with Monique was a difficult experience, even though he did not directly work with her. See, the reason why it was a difficult experience was because there was more negotiation issues with the movie. Precious. So it really didn't have anything to do with Monique. He shared with us well, his problem stemmed from, number one, when he took the movie to Lionsgate, he wanted to get behind it with Oprah because it wasn't getting traction just with Lee Daniels alone. So in getting behind it, he thought the price that he was told that they would be able to purchase it for, when he went to purchase it, it was several million dollars more. So he was frustrated about that. Then he had issues with Lee Daniels. Uh, and they were going back and forth, which we had shared with you last week, how Lee had called us up to say how he hated Brother Tyler because he is trying to steal, as he put it so eloquently, Mama movie. Come on. Okay. Then Brother Tyler had called and said nothing as harsh, but he said, I can't stand Lee, but I have to admit that he's talented in the midst of our conversations. So... Then Tyler shared that by the time he got to Monique and the not promoting the movie, he was fed up. So it didn't really matter to him why she didn't do it. What mattered to him was he was trying to form this relationship with Lionsgate. This was something that he took to them. And now the movie cost more than he expected. And uh, the relationship he was having with Lee was going awry. And now you're not promoting the movie. Now, the reason why Monique did not go out of her way to promote the movie was because she was not contractually obligated to do so. So she did her part, but doing extra promotional press dates, that was a no-no for her because for one, she wasn't getting paid to do so. And also the circumstances were very inconvenient. You know, flying coach, she had an issue with that because she's a big girl. And Gabrielle Sidibe, she actually had to fly a coach and promote this movie without getting paid. And they were already getting minimal pay to begin with because Precious was an independent film. So I think Monique said she got around uh, $50,000 to do the film, something crazy like that. So yes, they felt like it was just too much effort on their part because they were getting so little in return. Another point that Monique brought up was the politics in Hollywood. Now Monique said that Tyler Perry told her that if she were to get a nomination for Best Supporting Actress for Precious, then her next film would pay her like three to five million dollars. Now this seems like a lot of money, but think about it. For an Oscar nominated actress, you're gonna pay her three million. That number is very, very low. And you said to me, if you get nominated, your next movie is between three to five million dollars. If you win it, your next film is six to eight. And then he said, well, I, I, when I really found out, I was shocked to know what the numbers were. I was shocked. I said, nigga, I told you in Vegas when you was running the numbers down to me. I said, Tyler, you talking to a black woman. 
So why are you trying to run the numbers down to me? Me and you both know what this is. Then he went on to say how shocked he was to know what the numbers really are. For those of y'all who don't understand, it's not about so much the money, but it's about the respect, okay? An Oscar winning actress getting only $8 million for a film, tops, that's disrespectful. They wouldn't pay someone like Jennifer Lawrence that low. You know what I mean? Like the lowest they would pay her for a movie now is 15 million because she won an Oscar. So Monique was thinking, well, I won this Oscar. So why am I not getting the same respect? Why am I not getting the same quotes? And the same thing has been done to other black actresses in Hollywood, like Taraji P. Henson, Viola Davis, Octavia Spencer, and so forth and so on. They accomplish a lot, but get rewarded so little in comparison to their white counterparts. So it is a true struggle. And Monique is just bringing that to light. And I do have to say that I was wrong for a comment that I made about Monique in one of my videos. Now I put the video on private because some of the information in the video was inaccurate. So I put it on private, but I did say that I was over Monique and I said that Monique, she's just, she's the one who's compromising her own career. But you know what? She's speaking out. And I think somebody has to speak out in order for things to really change. What we're dealing with, in my humble opinion, in my humble opinion, is somebody saying, I don't have to pay you fairly. I'm gonna just pay you a little more. These are the words coming out of this brother's mouth when he says, I was shocked to know what your quotes are. I was shocked to know what Taraji P. Henson's quote is and what Octavia's quote is. I was shocked to know how low their quotes are. I then said, well, Tyler, you're in the position to pay us fairly. And she basically wants Oprah, Tyler, and Lee Daniels to step up and support one another and not be scared because they have way too much power to be scared. And it's surprising because Tyler Perry is scared to reveal to the public about the truth of Monique's character because he's afraid that would be bad publicity for his movie. But in reality, it would be good publicity for his movie, in my personal opinion. The next question was, well, at what point do you tell the world that truth? And his reply was, I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying, but not right now. And we said, why not right now? And what did he say? I have to wait until my movie comes out. Because? It's too hot out there right now. Y'all got it hot out there. And Monique and her husband, Sydney, also addressed the Adrian Bailon situation. Now on the real, Adrian Bailon said that Monique wasn't keeping it real and she was being loud and boisterous. Why does it always have to be that just because you all over the place and being loud and making a lot of noise that that's the truth and that's real? Just like the little sister from the real who decided she wanted to speak up and say, <laughs> What's her name? being loud ain't being real. We ain't coming for you. You know why? Because you ain't been in the game long enough to know what's out here waiting for you. And you don't understand that the conversation that Monique is having right now is for sisters like you. Because one day you might win the Academy Award. One day you might be in a position where you win a Golden Globe. One day you might win every known award for film around the world. Mm -hmm. And if so, would you want to be treated fairly? So she can't come for you. She got to go for the Goliaths. Listen to what I'm saying. Go lieth. That's what he okay? said. We got to we we going for them because they have the power to change it. You know, I do respect Monique and her husband, Sydney, for not going in on Adrian, because I'll be honest, I was like Adrian. In fact, in my last video about this whole Monique and Tyler Perry situation, when she did her recent stand up about him, I was over her. I said that Monique was just doing too much at this point. But then I realized that this was a comedy show of hers. And her stand-up comedy is very aggressive. But it's not really a true reflection on her. Her Periscope sessions are more of a true reflection on Monique. So yeah, the whole point of this discussion is don't judge a book by its cover. And I know a lot of people look at Oprah, Lee Daniels, and Tyler Perry as being wicked people. But honestly, they're not. Even though they're caught up in the whole politics of Hollywood, 
they do have some decency. And Tyler Perry had the decency to call Monique and her husband even while he was on vacation. And also Lee Daniels did make sure that Gabourey Sidibe had a first class ticket to go and promote their movie. And this was because Monique demanded that he do so. And of course we know that Oprah Winfrey is very big on philanthropy. So you can't really say all of these people are evil. You can't. They're just caught up in the game of Hollywood. And I think all four of them need to sit down together on Oprah's Super Soul Sunday and just hash everything out and just have a real discussion about the state of black people in Hollywood. That would be super cool. That would be great for ratings. Not only that, a lot of black people will respond positively to that and support their projects. That's what I feel. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this long video, but I will see you next time. Bye!